Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any of all help the channel grow, and they help get this out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. In our last episode, we managed to get the fabric and the plastic from our fuel refinery runoff, basically, uh, up here into our new train station that we're putting together we basically have got a huge conveyor belt uh, or conveyor lift running from all the way down there uh, due to a really really handy tip someone put in the comments about how if you're going floor hole to floor hole you don't need to connect lifts it just does a giant lift from one end to the other so that's what we've got and that's worked out really well now in this episode we are going to finish our track and we're basically going to circle it round. Uh, and we're going to try and uh, yeah, we are going to hopefully uh, get our train st uh, our train uh, running. But we're going to have fun playing the signals on that front. So I'm just... Just running this round now. Whoop. Okay, and then we need to hook it back up over there. Okay, and when does that come straight again? Looks like there. And then that. Oh, it's not perfectly straight, but do you know what? I don't care, it's connected. Cool. So we've got a little loop that will come around here. Okay, and we're back. I apologise for that brief interruption. Uh, I tend to record these actually on a Saturday evening. Um... And I needed to go and settle my daughter. So, yeah, apologies about that. She woke up, so I just needed to go and help sort of resettle her on that. Um, however, right, we've just reconnected this all up. So now we get the fun of trying to deal with the signals. So, we transport. Now we're going to have to deal with the signals. So I've got the block signals and the path signals. So... The block signals. Block signals can be placed on railways to create blocks between each other. When a train is occupying such a block, other trains will be unable to enter it. Caution signals are directional. Trains are unable to move against this direction. Be sure to set the signals up in both directions for bidirectional railways. Okay. Travel signals are used to direct the movement of trains to avoid collisions and bottlenecks. Path signals are used are advanced signals that specifically used for bidirectional railways, which I don't use. And complex intersection intersections. They function similarly to block symbol signals, but rather than occupying the entire block, trains can reserve a path through it and will only enter the block if their path allows them to fully pass through. Okay. So Yeah, this one's going in this direction. No, it's not. This one's going in this direction. So you're going there. This one's coming in that direction. Okay. And then you're going all off in that direction. You guys are going in that direction. Okay, so I'm assuming these are red because they don't feel they've got enough signals yet. You guys are going in that direction. You guys are going in that direction. Uh... 
So that's facing the right way. I mean, you probably don't need to be a path one, would you? You just need to be a block signal. You don't need to be a path one. You can be a block one, I think. Yeah, because you're talking about that entire block up there. Oh, train ran me over. Didn't expect that. Yeah, because then you can set these up going like this, can't you? Multiple ways along. Yeah, and that was one other thing I read about them, that they can only actually go where you have set the track up. So they'll have they'll they'll go in on um like track joins as it were. Okay. Right, why are you red? Because you don't need to be a path signal. You're a block signal. Or is Red just saying what block they all belong to? Because in theory I might need to run these all the way along the train line. Oh, I think I bet you I do. because otherwise it's going to consider that whole bit down there a single block and it won't let someone in. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have to try and run that. So let's go and set a train up and we'll see what it does. I think I've put the signals in the right place. See, that says go. That says stop. Why are you saying stop? I don't know. I don't know. Right, let's let's just see what it does. Right, so train. Brake car, brake car. And you will have a timetable to go from fuel refinery to central storage. Or do I want to... If you go fuel refinery, steel, back to fuel, and then back to central storage. Yeah, do that as a long way round. And then let's see what you do. So, I've no idea if I've set this up right. I'm just going to have to watch and see what happens. Okay, so this is going to load... He says, hopefully. Right, so there goes our plastic and fabric being loaded. Which is good. Okay. So this is looking promising. Yeah, I've no idea if I've set those... I think I've set them up right, but I've never used... Like in all the other ones, games I've used, I've never really used the, what were they called, routing blocks. I've only ever used the, the stop blocks. That basically say, you can't move into this section. Right. So I've now got a green light. Okay. Well, that's doing what it wants to. Yeah, you're heading in the right direction. But you're now saying you can't make that because, <laughs> yeah... I'm going to need to run these the whole way along. Because it's considering that block 
which is that whole loop up there, blocked because the train hasn't passed the segment on the other side. So assuming I've understood this correctly, the moment this train here crosses the other side, it's then going to release us and let us go. Yeah, that's exactly what's happened. Okay, so I am going to need to set these all the way going. That's going to be fun. That'll be uh, an off-camera jobby, I think. Okay, so you, we're going to go and pick up some additional steel. Not that this train needs to, it's just so I can test what's going on. Yeah, look at those whopping great elevators going all the way there. And then I'm going to need to put some structural bits on all of this. I do love how that factory looks at a distance. I think that's worked out really, really nicely. Um, yeah, I'm really, really proud of that one. It looks really good. And it's I, I'd like to think I'm developing from the original orange boxes into stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it's really nice. Most of you in the comments have been very complimentary of my builds at the moment, which does mean a lot to me because... I have said right from the beginning, I'm not an expert at Satisfactory. I don't pretend to know everything there is to know about this game and, and how it works. Like I've I've mentioned multiple times, I've never got this far before. This this save file now is as advanced as I've ever got. So it, it means a lot to me that sort of people are making those kinds of comments. Um, and I like I say, I just really appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm hoping... That, that that kind of development is going well. The trains are... Yeah, I'm going to need to put all of these block bits all the way along, aren't I? Otherwise, they're just going to stop in sections like that. But I'm hoping... Well, we're definitely going to pick up the steel. The, the interesting bit that I'm going to have is pulling back into the uh, oil refinery area to basically make sure that we've grabbed or not grabbed but to um, make sure that the routing is correct on that yeah we're not producing <laughs> enough steel at the moment so we've act the single train that's doing this route at the moment is basically I well over prepared for this the, the single train does not need that second um, platform at all uh, it absolutely gets everything it needs on that single run that it does so this is entirely wasteful I probably could have one train doing the loop that I've set for this one but like I say I wanted to test all of the, the routing and make sure I've got that down right here we go on the way back I mean at some point I think we're going to have to do some expansion I I'm kind of thinking about the next stages and I'm thinking what we're going to have to do after this I really want to start getting computers and heavy modular frames automated which means I think we I'm probably going to need to set up another iron factory somewhere because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to make modular frames in a much more mass produced way that I'm currently doing them um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to do that that does mean that we'll probably wind up using some of the steel that we're producing at the moment because we're specifically doing this for screws so I'm going to need a train to take screws out there and then bring modular frames back um, yeah it's there's my brain's kind of boggling at the moment about what our addition, what our next steps are going to be. Um, which, I'm not going to lie, does slightly worry me a bit. Right. Oh, look, see that train there? It's stopped because it's viewing this as an entire block. Yeah, well, at least that bit's working. At least those blocking bits are, which is good. then we're going to come along here which will release that one why 
are we breaking? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So it's reserved the junction. Okay, so it breaks for the junction and then reserves the entry as it gets to it. Oh, clever. Okay, I wonder why why they were staying red when there was nothing there. So they get up to the junction, make sure that little junction is clear, but they remain red at... Okay, alright, okay. I'm okay with that. That's... I can get on board with that. Right, and now you're going to load up more... Plastic and fabric, he says. Why? Oh, okay. Right, we're off. I didn't see it actually do anything then. Although I suppose we had it all locked up, didn't we? So the bit at the moment is uh, the one at the back is completely full. Right, and so now we should be turning right, he says. Yep, there we go. It ticks to the right. Beautiful. Okay. Yep, this is working as intended, which I'm really pleased with. Okay, and then we'll pull around here. And drop this off. I have to admit, this hasn't taken me as long as I expected it to. Which is nice. And we pull in. And we drop off all the gubbins that we've picked up. Which for the first time includes the second um, what am I talking about? Yeah, the second carriage. And they're going to drop off there. Cool! Yep, that worked spectacularly well to my mind. And off we go. Cool, okay, so pretty sure I've got the pathing thing set up. If I haven't, I'm very, very sure you guys will let me know that in the comments. Um, but yeah, that went really, really well. So I think the next thing I'm going to need to do is figure out where I want to do this iron factory to basically have a look and go and, and, and try and do the modular frames. Now I know the two iron nodes down there are pure. But it's whether it, but it's a case of I'm pretty sure I can get better, um, a better start than that because I'm sure I can get more than two pure. But then again, it's how many can the smelt box manage, which is going to be. But yeah, okay, that is working well. I'm very very pleased with that. Uh, so. Let's head in this direction. Okay, let's head back. Yeah, very happy with how that's working. But yeah, I think I will fill in all of those stop... Um, all of those uh, stop signs off camera for you because I think that's going to be a real pain otherwise. Right. In the meantime, let us come back here. Okay. So, we are, like I say, looking for a good place to have... Oh, I wanted to land on the arm. It's not going to let me, is it? No. Okay. So, let's have a look for iron. So, we've got those ones we've tapped. Yep, yep, yep. Where else have we got? There's one there. Pure, but that's only a single one. 
kind of want to head over the iron nodes there. But I don't know what purity they are. From memory, they're pretty good. Oh, they're not in the direction I thought they were. Wait a minute. This one. Infinite. Apply. Aha! There we go. Over there. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think... I think that's what we're going to wind up looking at. But like I say, it is a case of... How much can the smelt box manage? Which I can't remember. Because I cannot remember how many... Um, smelters we put in there. Now I think... The cap, because our cap, our belt cap at the moment is 480. And that's as much as we can do. Right, load blueprint, smelt box, iron smelt box, please. I need iron plates. Uh, I don't know. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, I. That's that's where my brain is at the moment. So our max throughput is 480 because of our belt restriction. Grab some of them. I do not need. Uh, actually, plastic can be helpful. I don't need that silica. Don't need that fabric at the moment. Oh, yeah, that was one thing. So, I had a random hard drive in my inventory. So, I set it researching in the MAM. And uh, it finished. So, let's have a look what we got. So, we've got silicon high speed connectors. Quick wire stators or coke steel ingots. I think coke steel ingots are an interesting one. Um, but I don't think we've got much worry about steel at the moment. And I'm kind of happy with the coke that we've got. Or not the coke, with the coal stuff that we've got at the moment. Silicon high speed connector. So it uses silica instead of wire. I mean, that is an interesting one. Slightly slower output. Okay, and then the quick wire stator. I mean, that's just faster using quick wire instead of normal wire. But I'm kind of happy with the balance there. I think I want this high speed connector. So I'm going to do that. Right, okay. Sulfur. This is another tree I want to have a look at. So, we've got smokeless powder. Right, let's go. What do we want for sulfur? We want reinforced beams, cable, plastic we've got. So reinforced beams and cable. Because we will go back and have a look at the sulfur facility. Uh, or the little bit where I've got some sulfur being made. Because... There was an error I found with it that I believe I have corrected. Um, and yeah, I, I, I want to try and start looking at some of the rifle as well, which means that that's what I think I need the smokeless black powder for that. So we will come over here. We will grab some of that. Okay. And then we will... Th toss ourselves off the edge. Way, You know, only doing that because I've got a jetpack. Right. Ooh, still apparently hit a bit hard. Okay, so the error was back in the... whoop, where we were making the compacted coal. I had five assemblers there making compacted coal. Which in my brain went, yeah, that's fine. That'll make me 175. Nope. Five would make me 125. So I kind of noticed this while I was just filling in the walls and... Why are you stopped there? Good. Fix yourself. Um, 
I kind of noticed it while I was filling in the walls and everything that I had burnt through everything I had in these containers. Uh, and yeah, it was because I was only producing 125. So what's actually going on now is these two are overclocked. So we've got these two making 100 between them and then 125, 150, 175, which is more than we need. What I've then got is I've got the overflow for the coal and the sulphur coming over here into this one to just quietly make black powder on its own. So I've got a chunk of black powder without the room to take them. Okay, and then pop down a map and we can go, right, give me noblesques. Nice. Give me an expanded tool belt. Excellent. Give me... Oh, I need some more. Give me... Smokeless powder. Okay. Now I can make the rifle. Which needs smokeless powder. Okay. Explosive rebar. Ooh. Cluster Noble F, Nuclear Deterrence. Yeah, I'm a long way from that. Uh, what have we got there? Turbo Rifle... Turbo Rifle Ammo. Okay, so that's Rifle Ammo with Turbo Fuel. But I think... That we're going to be able to look at, the rifle. But I need Smokeless Powder. And what do we make Smokeless Powder in? That's going to be... I'm sure it's going to be an assembler, because it won't be a one thing. Right, what do we do to make Smokeless Powder? Uh, okay. Let's have a look then. Smokeless powder. Is, oh wow, it's in a refinery. So that's black powder and heavy oil residue. Okay. Okay. That was unexpected then. So... That means it's in a refinery. Uh, okay. Which means I'm going to need to make heavy oil residue. But I think that's going to be okay because I think I need to make a ton more plastic. So I think we're going to be able to use that. And then we can use... Get the plastic and then we can take heavy oil of residue and make some smokeless powder and I mean petroleum coke and sink it's not sort of possible because we could try and make residual fuel but then we've got to try and deal with the fuel and do something with it so I'd be inclined to do petroleum coke and then just sink it just to keep it going because we're not going to be producing enough here, and we're going to have to get it over to someone with oil to do deal with that. However, that's going to be a problem for another day. It's one. It's a problem I want to deal with, but it is a problem for another day. So that does mean we've got all of our compacted coal. The truck is going. Everything is going tickety boo along those lines. Yeah, we're in a good place at the moment. It is just working out what that next step is going to be. Um, so if you've got any ideas, feel free to put them in the comments. By the time you see this, I will have recorded the next block of episodes, but let me know. I mean, it'll give me something to do. But like I say, I think I want to find somewhere good to build some new mod uh, yeah, modular frames. Because then, once we've got the modular frames done, we can start... Actually, actually thinking about this on the fly now. What I think we're probably going to start with next week. Or next for you next episode because I think this is a Monday episode. Um, is I really think we need to develop our storage area because at the moment this is a mess. Things are all over the place. We need to set up a central storage area so that we can start training, shipping, moving anything we need to back to where it needs to get to in that central storage area. So I think that is going to be a big build working from the ground up 
uh, next episode. So, yeah, apologies, it's a little bit short this one. A little bit disorganised at the end, purely because, like I say, I got that train stuff done much faster than I was anticipating. But as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions, they all help the channel grow and they help get this out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Other than that, I do hope you all have a great day and I will catch you all next time.